you know, it's it's almost as if NASA's made some big changes and as if some some of those big changes were taken over to SpaceX. Oh. How about that for a transition? Just pronounce this guy's last name for me, please. <sighs> Gerstenmeyer. Fine. So Bill Gerstenmeyer, or uh, William Gerstenmeyer, Bill Gerstenmeyer. William. Uh, he, uh, he, this is really exciting, actually. So he was basically the uh, ad, uh, director, what was he? The ad, associate administrator of human space flight or something? Let me see. Um, Associ- yep, human yep. exploration and operations. Yeah, and this man has been on just about every really important program at NASA um, and was a really, 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 um, every, basically every, just rave reviews of the man. Everyone said that, you know, he's a really sound, uh, sound advice. And, and when he says something, it's, it's well thought out, well executed. Um, he actually got fired, I believe in July after huh. a con- congressional hearing about basically the Artemis program. And he was just kind of being saying like, it's, there's almost no way we can get there in 2024, um, <laughs> without a huge increase in budget. And there's still a lot of huge technical challenges. He's just being realistic <laughs> and in a move that was very confusing to literally everyone. Um, uh, Jim Bridenstine let him go after that, like immediately. Well, it's the, do you remember the old commercial? Uh, it was, um, it was a joke, but for someone like me at the time working in corporate America, it was very close to home. There's a bunch of monkeys in a room in suits, and they're all screaming, throwing bananas and stuff. And they had a chart there, and it was like going up, and they're all like partying, doing all this. And then like a guy walks in, like a human walks in, and he's like, hey, hey, no, no. And, and like they flip the chart up, and it's going the opposite way. And then they get all pissed, and they're like, ah, and they like kick him out of the room, and then they flip him back over. And that's, then they go that's, back to partying. That's totally <laughs> real. Where, <laughs> No, I mean, that's that's like, like, hey, yeah. guys, uh, we're actually, we need like triple, you know, it's, we did, we really spent time analyzing the numbers. It's not going to happen within what we thought, blah, blah, blah. And, and the answer isn't, okay, well, let's dive in and figure it out. The answer is, out, you. Yeah, get him out and, of here. Yeah. And bring in the guy that says we can do it, and yeah. even though it'll never happen, you know, it's like. <laughs> right, right. I mean, some of that's a good thing. I think some of that, you know, if you have someone that's like, we can do this, you know, I think Elon Musk would be the epitome of. We can do it. I mean, yeah, but no one's going to fire is, Elon. <laughs> right, right. That. But what happened here is so since then, you know, uh, NASA ha- had a stand in uh, admin- uh, associate administrator of human space flight, and then uh, they replaced him with a more permanent one. Now, um, I can't remember his name. I'm, I'm failing to, to remember who the current, current one is. Um, but he was on that teleconference with um, Starliner. Anyway. So Bill Gershenmeyer was out there kind of looking for a new job and he officially, it's coming out that he officially got swooped up or at least is doing some consulting for SpaceX. And this is really, really, really good because he's intimately knowledgeable about the Dragon capsule, about the Falcon 9, about their certification program, about how NASA certifies things. He's a very conservative and cautious voice in a, in a, at a time when I think that's absolutely vital when you know we're seeing failures from from boeing spacex had you know a dragon capsule blow up you know eight months ago or whatever 10 months ago and for someone like him to be on the crew at spacex just to have that really voice of authority and double checking all the all the work and he's working directly under hans Koenigsman. i think this is huge and i think this is a really good hire because spacex is so good at pushing the boundaries and, and fast forwarding and, and getting to the next step in a hurry, having someone like this that is just totally honed in to all of the actual intricacies and all of the details. I remember he was at the DM1 press conference and I asked him about certification of um, the grid fins and things like that. Um, and if that was gonna change anything after they failed on that one mission. And um, Gerson Meyer actually had some some good things to say and, and feedback in response to that. So. He knows his stuff. He really, really knows his stuff, and, and um, it's really cool to see him uh, actually on the team at SpaceX now. And the mustache love that he brings here is just epic. I mean, this guy's got it going on right here. This is like some 70s action that we have. So, you know, SpaceX definitely needs to know <laughs> what a real mustache looks like, and they now do. So, good job. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's true. It's to, to Bill. It's true. That's a mighty, mighty mustache. Uh, that's that's what a man looks like. Okay, guys. That's... <laughs> yeah, none of this scruff that we have. Yeah, yeah none of this boys. little hipster nonsense that us us children have going on. This that's what a, a real a real man's face should be. It's true. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. <laughs>